one, I just want to tell you about a really cool project I just finished coordinating. A while ago, I heard about Martha Lillard, an American lady from Oklahoma. I have to look for it on the map. It's right above Texas and has a population about a quarter of Shenzhen. Anyway, mother contracted polio when she was a little girl and was put into something called an iron lung. In order to breathe, she slept every night in the iron lung since 1953. During the day, she uses what's known as a positive pressure machine, but it's just not the same and she can't really survive with it alone. It seems that iron lungs are a bit like cell phones, gaming consoles, and computers. They come out with new things they say are better, but that's just not always true, or at least not true for everyone. Mother tried these new machines, and well, imagine your new tech device meant you couldn't breathe. For mother and a few others, that's how it's been for decades. They have carefully maintained the machine they need to breathe, to live, as parts got scarce and technical assistance got more and more rare, people can be a little dismissive. Imagine someone told you, oh, you don't need this machine, you can breathe 50% as well with this one. Hell no, and that's not to mention the risk of all the other bad things that can happen to older people who can't breathe properly. And for what? Lack of spare parts? then what are all our shiny tools and our special skills good for? If we can't save just one nice little auntie, right? It's just nonsense then, just a show. I'm not okay with that. Oh, by the way, auntie and uncle is what we Chinese call anyone older. It's just a term of respect. Just so you know what I mean when I say that. Now, an iron lung is an interesting device. You, your head sticks out and it sort of sucks on your body to pull air into your lungs, so there needs to be a sort of gasket around your neck. The metal parts are no problem, welders to watchmakers. I think there's nothing made out of metal I couldn't source. But that gasket? That color was very tricky. It kind of irises closed and has to be just the right size, just the right material with just the right amount of elastic. Everyone said, Oh, it looks easy, and it does, and a lot of people tried over the years, but it never fit quite right, which means the air leads around it, and the iron lung can't do its job. It seems it needed more than just a person handy with a sewing machine. People tend to underestimate how tricky textile can be, and a lot of time wasters wanted to play clever, said they could redesign something better, but quickly lost interest. What mother needed was an absolutely perfect copy. And for once in my life, I was proud that I come from someplace that can make an exact clone of almost anything. But there wasn't much time. Mother was down to her last color and it was leaking. So the machine could not help her breathe properly. She sent me her old worn out one. It's hard for me to get packages in Shenzhen. They get stopped by customs, so I have it mailed to Hong Kong and went over the border to bring it back over. Then I put out the call on WeChat to all my tech contacts in every city in China. My pitch? We have to save Iron Auntie. Get yeah, this? It's like her arm reactor is broken and she needs this claw path to lead. You could not write a better plot line to get Chinese mobilized for a cause. All Chinese love Iron Man and of course, you know how we are about our elders. And we get to see who can copy something perfectly? Well, everyone wanted to show off what their university, their R&D lab, their engineers could do. And it probably didn't hurt that I get pretty much a brand check for any YouTube promotion they might ever want in the future if they did this for me. A lot of these people have crowdfunding products that they want to promote. And believe me, when they call in that marker, I'm going to promote the heck out of their product without an ounce of shame. I don't even care what it is. Those folks 
are getting taken care of. I got in touch with Wu Wu, no relation, an engineer and entrepreneur who does a lot of work with hardware embedded textiles. His current product is a relaxation mask, the Dream Light. Everyone who knew him said, this is the guy. And in China, when people watch that firmly, it means something. When it's like, oh yeah, sure, oh one can maybe do it. Sure, they have no clue. But when everyone is like, no question, Wu Wu is your guy. Well, Wu Wu is the guy, particularly because they are all a little scared of me and know what will happen if they send me to the wrong guy because I'm such a sweet dazzle Chinese flower. So I trusted Will with my only sample of Mother's Iron Lung color, crossed my finger and sent it to Will's engineering team. Now, two weeks later, and what do I have? Well, check this out, buckaroos and buckarats. Bam, for Oklahoma, 10 perfect copies. And when I say perfect copies, I measure this with the digital caliper. I don't even know how they did it because I should have them make bras or something. Now, to my eyes, hands and instruments, we nailed it. But I'm saving a few so that if there's a problem, I can get them altered and send another batch. And if there isn't, I can get more made and at an average of one color a year, I can make sure our 70 year old iron aunties has enough parts to keep her R reactor running until she's a nice white 120 years old. I hope you're as happy with this project as I am. Please check out the link to Wheel Woods Dreamlight in the description box. He's good people. Lastly, the maker movement has brought us some wonderful ideas but has been mostly about education and fun. There's some works with stuff like 3D printing, prosthetic hands, but it really hasn't been a core value. Hardware hackers are all about sharing. I have this, I want you to have this also. For me, I want to strengthen my commitment to service. Those of you with tools and skills, please think about it. You two got enough things being crashed, blown up, modeled, and tested. Let's put some of those resources into something productive. It will be just as good to watch. Put a sign on your garage, drop by a senior home, think local. We can save the world, but we can put our skills and resources to good use and in doing so, challenge ourselves. Please consider taking on more making and DIY projects in the service of those in your community who generally need help can get it elsewhere and may not be aware that makers, hardware, and DIY enthusiasts, well, we can do stuff they've only seen on TV and we love to show off our skills for a good cause. Thank you, that's it for today and I'll see you all next time.